Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, a while back I got a question on a video that I did about creating my own custom uh, perform layout on the FM3. Uh, and I got a question about using external switches to do things like bank up and down or whatever. So um, thank you to Mark12Mark for the uh, comment and question. And the answer is yes, absolutely. Fractal have a feature called stand-in switches uh, that will let you do with an external switch, anything you can do with any of the FC switches, including the FC controller switches, uh, and it's called stand-in switches. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through setting that up uh, with my FM3 uh, in addition to my custom layout. And we're gonna use this Mission Engineering TT2, and uh, I'll show you how to set that up and show you how it works. Okay, so to start, we're going to take a little detour and quickly set up an external switch. I happen to have a Mission Engineering TT2 in TRS mode, which you can see here, there's a switch in the inside. You can set it to TS or TRS mode. Uh, and when it's in TRS mode, um, what this means is I can run one TRS cable uh, into pedal one or pedal two on the FM3, in my case, pedal two. And I have two independent switches from just the one TRS cable. Now, in order to configure this external switch properly, we need to go to setup, IO, and then page over to pedal. Then for the TT2 specifically, we set pedal two setup to be two switches, tip plus ring. And then for the TT2, we also need to set the switch to tip and ring polarity to normally open instead of the default of normally closed. Now these will change for your switch or your pedal. Um, you'll have to look up what you've got, the manual for that to see what, what applies to your particular switch. Okay, so now we've got our external switch set up, the TT2, two switches actually, in this case, uh, and we could use it like any normal switch. We could assign it to a modifier to bypass a block or change an effect parameter, but what we can't do yet is do things like show the tuner, uh, we, we don't have tap and hold functions, it's just you know an on and off sort of event, and then uh, we can't also do things like bank up and down, uh, or like we want to do in this case, increment or decrement the current preset. So for that, we need stand-in switches. And so stand-in switch is kind of what it says on the tin. It lets an external switch stand in for any other switch you've assigned to any, other, any layout. And it doesn't matter what current layout any foot controller is in. All you're saying is I've got a switch that I've configured with tap and hold functions to this switch number in this layout in my fractal unit, in this case, FM3. And with stand-in switches, you're saying, I want this external switch to stand in for that virtual switch that I've configured. So you set up a switch in any layout and you can assign an external switch to stand in for that. So you can bring your, in that way, you can kind of bring your own hardware to do anything the FC foot switches can do, which is kind of nice. So to set this up, we navigate to setup and then FC controllers and page over to the stand-in switches page. Our two switches correspond to FM3 switch two, tip and ring. Tip is one switch and ring is the other because we've got a dual switch. Um, for my use case, I want these switches to do a preset increment and decrement, which I've already set up switches for on layout seven. So I set them to layout seven, switch 10, and layout seven, switch 11. And you can see the function names here are preset increment and decrement. And you can see here that as we push the buttons, the preset is incrementing and decrementing, doing exactly what we needed it to do. So we've got it set up. If you wanted to do something other than what we've done here or something that is already available in the default layouts and switches, then you'd have to first go set up a switch to do what you wanted it to do, just assign a function to tap and or hold in some layout and some switch. Um, and then you would come here and assign your external switch as a stand-in for that layout and switch. Uh, and so if you've never done that before, I go into more detail about how to do that uh, in my custom layouts video. So if you're interested, go check that out. Um, other than that, uh, that's it for this video, pretty short and sweet. Um, actually use this setup this weekend. Um, and so thank you uh, to Mark12Mark again for the comment. Um, you saved me uh, a little bit of my back bending over, <laughs> changing presets. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you made this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And um, thank you. And remember, if it sounds good, it is good.